There has been a spike in demand of laptops recently, especially during quarantine, and people are opting to buy a cheap laptop. Many would think that a cheap device wouldn't make the cut, but that's where you're wrong. Hey, I'm Nimrov and this is the Acer Aspire 5. Like most laptops from Acer at this price, they don't go and waste their budget on fancy designs or world-class metal to build their systems. Instead, they went for a silver and aluminum build which is fine if you're not thinking of throwing this anywhere solid. Overall, the build quality is great and it's fine and it doesn't feel cheap in any way even though some of the parts are made of plastic. There's a fair amount of ports on the system. The right side has a USB 2.0 port, Kensington lock, and the coveted headphone jack. The left side has a Ethernet port, which I love, power jack, a full HDMI port, two USB 3.1 ports, and a USB Type-C port. The keyboard on this laptop was very low action which took me some time to get used to since I was so used to using a Miniso keyboard which took some force before it actually registered a key press. The trackpad is fine and it can be used without a mouse and I would often do that when I'm too lazy to get my mouse. Multitasking would be a breeze here, the screen is 12 inches and it has a 720 screen but uh, the resolution is on the screen and I don't know what to think of that. Performance here is actually great. I was expecting a sluggish system, which it proved me wrong. The processor is an i3-7020U, also it only uses 4GB of RAM, which is common for laptops at this range. I can multitask with multiple tabs on YouTube or Twitch is playing in the background while I write my scripts and find sources. This laptop can also handle video editing, but I'm pretty sure 4K here would just make the process laggy. I was also able to edit one of my videos on this laptop and you can check it out on the card up there. So gaming performance here is okay as long as you don't venture off to high and ultra settings which will definitely make the system lag. CSGO runs very smoothly here, especially Valorant which I have been enjoying for quite some time but just don't place it on high to ultra settings. It doesn't overheat when I use it that much which is actually a great thing considering it only has one exhaust at the bottom. The battery on this device is quite amazing considering its size. It only takes about a day to fully drain this thing and according to Acer's estimate, it takes 10 hours before it dies off. Of course, with light to moderate usage, it would take about a day and a half before this thing dies off. Should you get this laptop? Absolutely. At this price point, this would already be a steal with it only being priced at 25k pesos which is already a deal. It balances performance and price. Plus, it's great for those who need a good performing laptop, especially for their online classes. You can game on it, you can edit videos, and you can even multitask and stream things at the same time. So that's my review for the Acer Aspire 5. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bye-bye.